Hey, Clint from 50 Campfires here, and we are about to head up to the North Shore in Minnesota on our last field trip of the year. And I'm particularly excited about this one because Vistabule Teardrop Trailers is hooking us up with the trailer for the next four days. Before we hit the road, I'm here with Steve Corcoran. You are the GM for uh, Vistabule Teardrop Trailers. Uh, just give me a kind of a quick rundown on how you guys got started. So Vistabule is about eight years old. We've been uh growing pretty rapidly over the past several years after early phases of, I guess, design refinement. Um, Bert Taylor, the founder, started in 2011 out of his garage, built one sort of just to get his hands the on the materials. Story. I love it. It truly is kind of a, you know, started in the garage story. Um, after being, you know, kind of a designer, artist, woodworker, fine woodworker, he set out to work after doing this kind of initial kit type build to designing something that was much more, uh, dealt with, I guess, the shortcomings of what he saw in what uh, the teardrop trailer was. So cool. he kind of had scaled it down to, you know, this is something I can work with. I could build this in my garage. But a lot of the shortcomings of claustrophobic interiors, you know, not enough light, small doors, not very robust galleys and so forth, yep. that I'm going to just go from the ground up, redesign the thing. So, I mean, number one, which still, it's not here right now, but truly the form factor is what he did that first go round. Okay. Um, from there, it's been iteration after iteration of just fine refinements, and they just kind of shine a little bit more, it seems like, with every production run. So. I love them. They're, oh. absolutely, they're absolutely gorgeous, and I am stoked to hit the road, so we're gonna head out. Let's just start off at the front here. The option that we have on this one is a cargo box, which has been great. I like it quite a bit, but I also bike a lot. And uh, that's another option you can do is get a bike rack and you could easily put two bikes across the front of here. And then on the top, uh, we have a 130 watt solar panel and they're incredibly thin solar panels. And so as we've been kind of traveling around, that's been topping the battery off the whole time, which is pretty awesome. All right. One of my favorite parts about the vestibule teardrop is the back part where all the cooking happens, which they call the galley. This is, this is pretty great. This is really, this has been so nice for us to use. And I will say, like I said, we had a quite a bit of rain up here and when I've seen pictures of these things before, it was just hard to tell how much overhang you really have here and we there was raining pretty good last night and we were three of us were standing in here kind of cooking doing the thing hanging out and all of us were out of the rain bone dry in here for cooking it was pretty awesome so let's kind of go over what we have here we have a stove on here from Dometic two burner stove which has been pretty fantastic we also have a a uh, CFX 35W um, cooler, which we've talked about before on the site. It's a great cooler. That's plugged into the battery in the system. It's full of all of our groceries at the moment. And we have the sink over here. We have, turn on the pump. So when you turn on the pump, then we get the water. The whole power for the whole trailer is right over here that turns off and on. We have a bunch of drawers on this side. We have our plates and everything else, everything like that. And then we have, this slides open and there's quite a bit of storage underneath the sink. So we have two full bags of groceries under there. Uh, we haven't had any problem with storing gear or anything like that. We have silverware up here, a couple holes in the back here for wine or for olive oil or whatever you're gonna be using. Um, all of our spices over here, and it's, uh, there's like kind of a built-in spice rack, so that stuff isn't kind of wobbling around when you're traveling, which is really nice. And then we have 110 power here, which you have to be plugged into shore power to do that if you want to use that. 
Another really neat feature that this one has is there is a little readout down here that says Victron Energy. And that is the, that's the readout for the, for the battery. And what's pretty sweet is there is a, there's a Bluetooth app that your phone will connect to. So I can open up my phone, it shows me that we have 84% left on the battery, it tells me what the voltage is, tells me the current that it's drawing right now, which is uh, only 0.2 amps. Pretty neat, um, more than enough light also back here. Last night I was surprised at how bright that was. There's also a little gooseneck light here if you wanted even more, or if you wanted less, because this thing was very bright last night for cooking. So that kind of covers the backside. Let's go head around and talk about the inside a little bit more. All right, the hangout space. So everyone, uh, that tends to hop in one of these has the same experiences, which once you get in here and you sit down, it's just surprising how much space there is and how comfortable it is, how much headroom you have. When you see them from the outside, they're, they're pretty small units, they're compact, they're easy to tow around, they're easy to travel with. Why don't we cover uh, ventilation first? So we have obviously, uh, we have the fan on the top here and this one here has the, um, has the upgrade of the remote control, so pretty awesome. So this automatically opens. Uh, it's uh, I just running at like 30%. But what's really neat about this setup is that you can set you could set the temp on here just like a thermostat, and that fan will turn off and on to regulate temperature inside. The doors also have windows in them that can be opened up. And there are several different uh, kind of levels for how, how much you want that open or closed. Same is also true for the windows on the back side. And then also on the front side down here, we have two, we have two little scoops that are even more airflow. So I can just push this in and open that up right there. Um, let's go ahead and talk about power. So we have uh, two USB uh, ports on each side of this, which is pretty great. We also, as we move back into here, there's an in-between space, so it's kind of fun to have that go all the way through. You can, of course, close these, you can close these two privacy screens if you don't want that to go all the way through. When you, when it gets to time to go to bed. So as you might've noticed here on this back window, we have this little privacy panel that goes on here. Um, these here are gonna go ahead and roll down. And then there's just a little, there's all these little really kind of interesting, cool design features that just make a lot of sense. So we have a rod in here that kind of comes down and then we have the window coverage right here. And then across this top side, this whole guy, bam, goes all the way down like that. And you know, we have kind of have this sort of a sag here. This I, this I thought was a really cool feature. They have, they have this thing here, boom. Uh, as far as storage goes, there's a lot. We have storage on both sides of the front. Uh, the back here goes all the way to the back of, the, of this living space, so there's a ton of space underneath here. There's also this guy here. So when it comes time to um, grab a bite, that's pretty easy to do. So we just have this. There we go. So, so. So that's our table. That's pretty easy to set up. Uh, I like that it stores inside here easily under, and like I said, they, there's so much storage underneath that the table doesn't really take up that much space. So let's go ahead and get the, get the, uh, get the bed popped down so you can see what it looks like that way. All right, so this is what it looks like with the bed down. That's really easy to put up and down. A lot of options for lighting in here. We have these two uh, really bright ones on top that are if you're playing cards or something like that and you want a lot more light you can have those on. I have two directional ones in the back here that are pretty slick. One more in the middle and then in the front here I have these two like 
kind of gooseneck LED ones that I was using kind of towards the end of the night. Just a little bit of light to see what you're doing before you go to bed. Storage, lots of storage. More than enough storage for, for a weekend for, for a couple people, pretty easy. Um, this one here drops down a little bit and I actually use that for my um, shoes that were kind of wet last night so I could flip it open. It was raining, take my shoes off, toss them in there. Don't have to worry about getting your bed dirty at all, which, was, which worked out really great. And then storage over here as well. All right, it is the last day of the trip on here in Minnesota, we are headed back and I wanted to give a couple final thoughts on what it's been like traveling with the Vistabule teardrop trailer. Things that I absolutely loved about it. First and foremost, I think was the size. It's, you don't even really know that it's behind the car. Thing weighs about 1,500 pounds and I didn't even really feel like it was, was there when we were traveling. The battery and the solar panels on top performed flawlessly, absolutely awesome. 100 amp hour battery, 130 watts of kind of the really slim solar panels on top. Uh, we've been out here for four days. We we're running the Dometa cooler the whole time. There were a couple nights where it was pretty chilly. So I flipped the furnace on inside and we're still at, I checked this morning, we're still at about 70% for the battery, which was awesome. Also, obviously the back, the galley, uh, where, where you cook, awesome. The fact that everything's ready to go, that worked flawlessly. Couple of considerations or things that were, um, that you need to put a little bit of thought into. Because we had so much rain up here, I will say with a, with a design like this, you have to kind of be more on top of that. Now I wish, if I was gonna do it again, I think we would have taken the time to do a tarp off of one side. And I think they even have an option where you can, where you can do that. But we should have strung a tarp up because when it's raining and you open this up and the bed's down, it's the start of your bed right here. And so if you're wet and your boots are wet and the whole thing is bed, which it is, and it's comfortable and super awesome, you, you have to kind of figure out a way to get in there dry. So we could have been more proactive on that side of it. The other thing that was really cool about this trip is that I got to experience this both as solo travel and then my wife joined us on the last leg of the trip. Um, she had opportunity to kind of come up and she was really curious about it, want to know what they would be like, are they comfortable, how do they work, what's the cooking like. So that was really fun. There's, there was, we both felt like there was plenty of room to sit, have a beer at night, play cards. Um, that was super fun. We thought it was fantastic. If you want to head in the kind of teardrop trailer route, definitely this should be in the lineup to check out. There are a lot out there. We've seen a lot of them at trade shows and I think it's hard to find quite the, the way that they have these, the amenities that are in them, the way they're thoughtfully designed. So they are absolutely one that you would want to bring into consideration. That is the Vistabule teardrop trailer.